Oh, hey, how's it going? Thanks for visiting me. Oh, you're here for the free material and tutorial? Okay. Here you go. And here we are in the Blender jungle. And we're here with Suzanne, the monkey. And we have this energy material, effects material that kind of looks like electricity. Um, and what we're going to be going over is how to use this material. And you can download this material in the link in the description on my Gumroad. Uh, and you can put it into your projects. So there are two things that are going on with this material. It's the uh, mesh and the material itself. So you need all of it, which is all inside this volume electricity uh, collection for it to, to work, right? So um, first things first, if you wanna just control this straightforward, you just go to electricity controller. I left some custom uh, properties here where you'll be able to change. So you got some, some basic stuff. You got the size overall. So it keeps the, the look the same, but makes it bigger, smaller. Size electricity. This is kind of the, the the size of the texture for the electricity. So you can see if you make it very large, it stops looking like electricity, more like blobs, which is maybe what you want. If you change the material, you can probably make this look into a cool liquid material. So to go back to the original settings, if you hover your mouse over the value and hit backspace, it'll reset it back. Uh, and then have two size intensities, and I just didn't know what to name these, but they do just affect the um, the look of the electricity. So let's do the first one, size and intensity. You can see it starts looking thicker, more jagged, and uh, it's starting to increase in speed. So we'll go back on that one. And then size intensity two, which kind of makes it large, but starts breaking it up. So you got like this crazy energy effect, like if, you know, there's some sort of like, super saiyan <laughs> blasting through uh which is pretty neat so we'll hit backspace on that and then we have the speed and the higher the number the slower it'll go so if you put like 200 you'll see it's very slow and then maybe if we put the size intensity up this starts to look you know like a frozen electricity or you know something happening there so pretty neat so we'll hit backspace on both of those so that those are the controls for this electricity you can also move it wherever you want by clicking on the electricity controller and places it where, placing it where you want so hitting g move it around there you go and then you place it you can rotate it and, you know do whatever you want uh and then if you want to change the color of the electricity you have to go into the electricity controller and under here number three volume to mesh it has uh, it says has material you can go in um and change the color so you go to emissions change the color and you can have whatever color you want and then the second thing to know is if you go to this multiply here you can fade it in and out so those are your controls for the material uh, you can obviously mess around with all the rest of the nodes if you you know what you're doing here but basically what's happening is there's just some math going on where it's only showing it's going between transparent and emissions depending on the angle and the angle is from above that's why if you look at this uh let's see from if you look at it without being rendered you can see that this is the mesh and you can see that like let's say this top piece here only this top half is being lit and that's just because it's at an extreme angle so you don't see anything that's facing towards you you basically see the emissions of things that are facing up or away from you and that's how it makes this electricity effect uh so you know if you could uh that's pretty much for understanding how to use the material uh if you want to know how this kind of works i'm going to make a separate tutorial on how to make these but uh, if you do want to customize it even more, and this is getting into the experimental realm, you can go into the electricity. And what's happening here is I tried naming it in a way that makes sense. So one is the starting mesh. So let's make it visible. All it is is a sphere, right? So that sphere, if you go to the um, uh, edit mode, you see that it's just a normal UV sphere. Uh, so it gets a sphere. And then we have this volume to mesh. It's a volume material. Uh, and if you go to the a volume object and if you go to the modifiers we have modifiers as mesh to volume so we're taking the starting mesh which is the sphere and turning it into a volume kind of like like you know if you see it in the render it looks like like smoke let's see if we can 
see it real quick here. I can't see it, but it, it is basically a volume uh, smoke there. So it gets the mesh. It goes from mesh to volume. We put a displacement on it. And then we go into the third, which is number three here, which has the material. We go from volume to mesh. So it goes into a volume. We distort it with the displacement map here. And then we bring it back into a mesh. And then we add some more modifiers like the cast, displace, and then smooth. And that's how this effect is made. Uh, doing it this way through, the, you know, changing it from mesh to a volume and back to, um, uh, back to a mesh uh, it tends to run faster, at least on my computer, doing it this way instead of just using a displace on a material because it tends doing it from the going from mesh to volume and then volume to mesh. It does kind of like a remeshing. So if we look at the wireframe for this, let's see visibility. Nope, sorry, viewport display wireframe. You see that it's not. It's not like a, a, a crap ton of uh, faces or in vertices and polygons and stuff. So that's why I do it this way. And look, it runs at basically 32 frames a second there. And it's very, it, it can run in the viewport. It doesn't slow you down. It's very, it's very nice. So if you wanted to uh, duplicate this, what you, what you would have to do is uh, right click, hit duplicate collection. Uh, for some reason, it makes the starting mesh here visible again. So we'll make it visible again. And then we have a second one. And here it is. Uh, and as you duplicate these, the more you have, this is a very intense effect. Um, you see that it slows down to we're at 22 frames a second now. So just keep note of your performance. Uh, the more you have, the, the slower it'll take to render. So there you go, that's how you duplicate it. And then if you're going to add it into a project, uh, what you have to do is, let me delete this here, is you would go to File, Append. Uh, you find the Volume Electricity. Oops. Volume Append. Uh, go to the elect uh, Volume Electricity. And then you, once you go into that collection, let me just open up one here. Okay, so we'll, here's a new or a new uh, Blender file. We'll go to File Append. Uh, let me find it here. You see, uh, I go to the Material Volume Electricity GM Grease Monkey. Uh, go to Collections and just do the uh, Volume Electricity. Append it, and there it is. You have it. Uh, we'll go to the mode here. It's not glowing, and that's obviously because you need to have your bloom on. There you go, and it's in your project. Uh, make sure to make the starting mesh invisible with the little eye there, and then that's how you add it to projects. So that's uh, about it, guys. Download, uh, the, it's a free download. Links in the description. Uh, definitely mess around with, you know, all the material settings and even you know experiment you can always download this again and see what you can make even uh change the material see what it looks like with a, a glossy material a metal material it may look really cool so experiment link in the description thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys have a wonderful day all right you got what you came for i hope to see you again though but next time maybe maybe visit me and not come here for some free materials or not whatever they're free. Link in the description. Thank you.